A former head of public service, Francis Muthaura, has proposed crucial anti-corruption measures to tame the cancer that is corruption in the country. In a public lecture setting the stage for International Anti-Corruption Day on Saturday, Muthaura advocated for a comprehensive revamp of the current wealth declaration system to compel all government officials to publicly disclose their assets for thorough analysis and swift action against unexplained wealth. Additionally, Ambassador Muthaura emphasized the importance of raising budgetary allocations to key institutions such as the judiciary, EACC, ODPP and other institutions to amplify their efficiency in fulfilling their duties and combating corruption effectively. Moranga County will be hosting the World Anti-Corruption Day that will be celebrated on the 9th of December under the theme United Nations Convention Against Corruption at 20, uniting the world against corruption, which underscores the need for collaboration and partnerships at all levels, considering that corruption knows no borders. Most of the cases reported on corruption are connected with the public procurement. And uh, I think procurement is uh, something which is very easy to deal with. Because there are rules, there are laws, procedures, which should be complied with. Uh, if you fail to comply with those procedures, then you have committed an offense and you should be held responsible according to the law. Our quarterly report have got big cases. And uh, quite a number of big cases, some of them is about telecom, other is about uh, the issue of Ronald Ngala College, which is stuck in Vipingo. And uh, we have one that deals with about the senator in, uh, in Wasingishu, where this, this the famous Finland scandal. So for the senator, we have recommended him to be charged. And we are in the process, I think, we got to go ahead to charge him. We are an independent, uh, independent institution. So the work that we do, we do according to the mandate that has been given to us. Whether we get support or no support from different quarters, that's a different issue. Where we get support, we appreciate that support. But uh, if we were to go only by cases where we have support, then we would not investigate many cases.